Sergio back at it again with the Ratchet Garage. Um, so I had this long tutorial played out for when I installed a hydraulic handbrake and my solid differential bushings. I was falling asleep while editing it because it's so boring. <laughs> I don't think I'll be doing any of the tutorial videos like that anymore. Uh, I just really want to show you guys my drifting and show you guys my car. So that's what you should be expecting now from this channel. Just kind of like vlogging as well, but not really vlogging. I'm not a vlogger. My life isn't as interesting as TJ Hunter, Adam LZ, or Taylor Ray, for example. Uh, they're all great vloggers in their own aspects and great drifters. Um, TJ Hunter, I don't know about them. So I installed my nameless hydraulic handbrake and my parts by Max solid differential bushing the other night. Uh, it took me all about, about total 12 hours to do all that, running the hard lines of the brakes and everything as well, which I'll show you guys here in a second. Um, it really wasn't the most difficult thing to install. I'd say the most difficult part of that whole installation would be trimming the center console down to fit the hydraulic handbrake in and making it look clean. But here, I'll just show you guys real quick. That's the hydraulic handbrake in there. It looks really good. I like it. It clears, clears this. Hopefully I don't hit it while drifting. Even if I do, I don't think it'll actually hit the friction point to where the wipers will go off. So, drifting, reach. The actual reach for this isn't bad. So, I can go right to it. Same with shifting. Third gear, downshift, second gear, boom, e-brake. Now that I showed you the handbrake here, let me go through how I installed it real quick. It was a pretty simple process overall. All I had to do was drill into the Level Ride Concept Fabrication bracket that I got from Level Ride. So all I had to do was, was mount the holes to the shifter boot mount. There's four screws, 10 millimeters, so you just bolted right in. Then I had to mount my hydraulic handbrake and then mark the points where I wanted to bolt it to. That's it. Like I said earlier, the longest part was trying to get dash back in and making it look as clean as possible. I had to drill this part out the whole way over here, practically the entire part. This is this part of the of the shift trim here is just sitting on nothing really. Uh, there's a clip here and a clip up here that's connected. Then I had to run the brake lines through here, drill a hole through the tunnel. I had put grommets on both holes to protect the brake line. Let me show you the outside. All right, so I don't know if you'll be able to see. You might be able to. I'll do my best to show you guys everything. That's where the brake line's coming through the tunnel from the interior. And I had to run the, the hard line from there with a clip. I mounted it down with three clips. Clip one right here. Brought, brought it the whole way over clip two into this bracket itself went up and over the subframe here the subframe you guys are not gonna be able to see it because it's right above the differential it splits off in the T and goes around onto the dual calipers right here so that's the brake line. And I had to remove the exhaust, as you can see there's no exhaust. I removed the exhaust, I had to remove the drive shaft, I had to remove the axles, I removed the differential. I removed the differential so I could get the T-fitting up there. 
And you know, since I had a differential out, I decided to install my sub, my uh, Parts by Max solid subframe bushings here to eliminate wheel hop and all that aggressive play you get when you have a lot of differential. All that wasn't as bad as actually trimming down the center console to fit in that hydraulic handbrake. It was all pretty self-explanatory, simple. I make a tutorial video, but as I said earlier, I was falling asleep editing it. And if I was falling asleep editing it, you guys would fall asleep watching it. So I decided not to do it. Let me show you my exhaust real quick. Cause I'm not, the reason why my exhaust isn't back on is because of how damaged it is. I'm either gonna have to get a new exhaust well, this exhaust, or get a straight pipe. And I can't find anybody around here to help me straight pipe it because my car is too low and they don't want to put it on their lifts because they don't want money. This is my exhaust, and this is why it's not back on yet. See how it's connected there? I've never seen, seen an exhaust like this before. It is a engine, engine, I believe you pronounced it. Everything else besides that is good. So I'm gonna take it to our local muffler guy here right down the street, he's about a block away. Let's see if he'll cut this out. And weld this one piece here and here. And if he will, that'd be great. If not, I'm gonna be in a market for a new exhaust. I'll probably call it an X-Gen tuning, which is they are in clear water and they do financing, so I can finance it with them. I don't have to worry about paying cash right away. Just so I can get my car back on the road. But anyway, that's what I got. That's what I did, guys, this week. Somehow I got to learn how to film and make it interesting. I haven't got there yet. These are just, you know, new videos. I'm learning as I go. I have some news that you guys might be interested in. I did pick up last week a drift missile which I'll show in the next video. I have it covered right now. You guys might be able to guess what it is. You might be able to kind of see over the cover. If you know what it is, comment below. But there's, there's the baby. And then there's the thing I'm gonna fucking trash. I'm gonna try not to trash it, but it's probably gonna get trashed because I'm gonna go fucking hard in it. But for the amount of money I'm putting into the Z, I have I already have over eight grand invested in just to mark modifications. There's no way I can just trash this thing and feel good about it. You know what I mean? Uh, I want to get better and better and better. So I want something I can go hard as hell in. And that's what that's going to be. Is for me to go hard as hell in and get better and better. Uh, especially at the tracks like at Desoto. Desoto is a terrible track for your car. It's got potholes in the track and everything, but it's one of the very few tracks close to me, so when they have an event, I like to go. So now I have a car to beat the shit out of in it. I'm gonna start releasing videos every Tuesday, being because I have Mondays off, I have time to sit down at a desk and edit the videos. If you like this video and you wanna see more content and more of me and more of my cars, like and subscribe. That's it for this week's video. Till next time, Sayonara fam.